Hello friends, today I am going to solve another uh, string problem. Problem name is that a string permutation problem and in this problem if you will see we have given two a string, right, they have mentioned that given two a string x and y each a string content that they have some constraint they mentioned and find if x is a permutation of y or not, right, if x is permutation of y it means that we have to print yes, right, and if it is not permutation of y then we have to print no. So they have some like, they have given some example you can see that suppose our first string like is a b and second string is also a b so we can easily create a uh, first string from the second string so in this case we will uh, print yes and other case we will print no let's discuss this problem first you can see that we have two string right suppose first string is a b a b c and we have second string a b c c a b so we have to figure out that we can create this string one from this string two or not so if we can uh, do this one we will print yes and if we can't do this one we will print no so if you will see in this case uh, we can create a string one from this string right so for solving this problem what we will do oh, first we will just we will take each and every character from this string first string and we will try to find that character is available in str second string or not right so whenever we will find suppose if you see in this example the here is 2a right 2 times a and 2 times b and 1 times c so suppose we will find that there is a 1a right available here right in this string also and there is a second a is also available in this string and 2b is in this our first string so 2b is also available in second string and there is 1c in first string so here we have 2c in second string it means that we have one extra we can create first string from second string right so in this case we have to print yes right another case is that suppose here we have only 1b right suppose this is our first string and this is our second string for creating the first string we need 2b right 2 times b but if you will see in second string they are only one one time b so we cannot create a first string from this second string so in this case we will print no for solving this problem we will take each and every character from this first string right and we will try to check this character is available in for second string or not whenever we will find that suppose this a is available in this string what we will do we will remove a from here so that next time we also check that okay, again this another a is available in this string or not right so suppose uh, we are checking with first a and a is available available in second string so we have deleted that one again we will go and we will check this b and uh, if we, uh, we will find that b yes b is available in this st string right so we will delete this one next time we will go and we, we will repeat this process until we will reach at last position right so that and whenever we will reach at last position we will find that each and every character of this uh, second string uh, first string is available in second string right so that we will print yes and whenever we will find that uh, any character is not present in our second string that time we will break the loop and we will write a message that okay, this can't be possible so suppose in this case here we are going to check again a a and here we see that a is available in second string so we will delete a again right again we will go and we will check this b so in this case we can easily see that b is not available in our second string because here we have 2b right in this is first string we have 2b but uh, in our second string that time there was only 1b so in this case we didn't find this b available in a string 2 so here we will use break right we will break and we will just print that this is not possible it means that um, this uh, str1 is not permutation of str2 so let's program for this so first you can see that we have uh, first two a string so what we will do uh, because if you will see we have checked right second a string so and we have deleted each and every character of second a string which character we are going to match with first a string so in a string we know that in java a string is immutable we cannot change right character of a string so what we will do we will convert this string into array of character and then we will perform this operation we will use array list right array list for storing this array of character right so that we will uh, in array list we know that we have two function right add and delete function so it will be easy to delete so we don't need to mention uh, right be focus about index if we will use only array then we need to be focus about whenever we will delete any element we have to use shift right we have to um, again one a special lo uh, loop for right right shifting of each and every element of that array so uh, we will use array list so that we don't need to use shift directly we will use we have one method in array list that remove method so we will directly remove that character from right uh, this array list so let's uh, start 
you can see that we have uh, this one function like solution name function and this function is going to take two argument s1 and s2 it means these two are a string and we have to figure out and this function will return a string as yes or no so here you can see that in main function we have called this function and we have stored this function into like result variable result of this function into result variable so this function solution function will return yes or no it will be stored in result variable and here we will print the value of that store uh, value of that result so let's uh, start so first we have to convert this s2 into array of character so that we will put that array of character into array list so let's first convert so we will create car array is equals s2 dot two car array right so it will convert s2 into right array of character so here this is giving error because we have used return right we have written a, a, a string and we are not going to return anything that's why it's giving error so let's uh, return anything so that it will not give an uh, error right so here we have we will in last we will change this one right so after this we will create one list right list uh, li is equal to new array list sorry a list and the list list will be character so right our next step is to add each and every character from this uh, array of character into list so here we will use for each loop for care c from where from array and we have to add li dot add we will add c right so after using this one what we have done we have converted this s2 a string into array of list and then we have to uh, add each and every character from this area of uh, character into list now we will perform operation like so for performing we need one loop so we will create one loop and i equals zero and we will run this loop until last so i will be s1 dot k sorry length because we have to check s1 right each and every character of s1 is available in s2 that's why we have start this uh, loop for s1 and we will create plus increment i and here you can see that uh, we will check here we need to check that each and every character of this s1 is available in s2 or not so here we will not work with s2 because we have converted this s2 as a list right so we will work with list so we have to check that each and every character of s1 is available in this list or not for checking this one we have one function right l1 dot index of index on of and we have to put character so that it will check that character is available in this array list or not so we will put str uh, sorry s1 dot caret i right so it will check str dot caret one it means a uh, character of this s this s1 is available in this Array list or not so whenever if suppose this uh, character is available in this list so it will re return the index of that character otherwise it will return minus one so we will check that if is not equals minus one right it means that we have found that s1 character of s1 is available in right s2 so in this case what we have to do you can see that in description we have checked right if suppose this a is available in s2 we have removed this a from s2 so here we know that in array list we have one method right we have one method list dot remove and this method will take one uh, index of that particular uh, character and that will and this function will remove that character from that array list so we have to take that character so using this one ally dot index of we will find that index of that particular character and we will put here so it will remove that character from array list right and we will repeat same problem and in this case right we will check suppose that character of s1 is not available in our list it means that here in this case you can see that suppose this b is not available in this our second string so what we have done we have used break because after this one we don't need to check further because we don't we know that if any character of this s1 is not available in this S second string it means that we don't need to check further because we cannot create permutation of that string so in this case what we have to do we will just a return no because we know that it is not possible in this case right and here if you will see when we will uh, do when we will reach at this position right at after this position it means that we find each and every character in str2 so in this case it means that it is possible to make permutation of that string so we will return here yes right so this is simple program for that one let's run this program 
so you can see that it is printing yes because it is possible here in this case abc is uh, can be possible to draw from this str2 string2 like ab abc if we just reverse this scenario right if we will reverse this scenario and suppose here in str2 we have abc and in str1 we have ab ab bbc so it means that we cannot create this uh, string from this string because it have only three character and it will not complete this character right for str1 so in this case it will return false let's run this program so you can see that in this case they have written no so this is very simple program thank you so much